like a decade or two, it will be Kofi Kenata. So yeah, and Paulina, yes, a very um, 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 good endorsement. Yeah. Yes, we should see more of it. Yes. Uh, some of these things, it yes. it helps. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Kofi Kenata, I mean, very great musician by all standards, and I like how um, he has been able to create a path for himself. And that is exactly what Auntie Paulina was saying there. Mm. And it seems that he is, I don't know whether his sound is high life, mm. he's still on that, you yeah. know, train. Um, my first uh, remembrance of Kofi Kinata, I think I was watching an interview that Samini was um, given. And um, he mentioned that he had this wild rapper blah 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 so as at that time you know i started actually paying attention to him so it's obviously samini who yeah. is mm -hmm. you know announcing announcing this person and his raps were solid oh yes he was one of those guys that i thought would you know <laughs> rival some of the biggest yeah. rappers yeah. in the game when you listen to his song move that was one of my yeah. favorite ones you know and then one of my other favorites, it's uh, that one is a collaboration. He saw Kondia Yapono and other people, The Definition. It's, 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 a, it's a great song. And when you listen to his rap compared to, you know, the other colleagues that were on it, you can mm. see that he was holding his own. Yeah. You know? So when he transitioned into more of a singer, yeah. it was very interesting to me because yeah. I, I didn't see it coming. He didn't. I didn't see it coming. I think he mentioned in one interview that you know, when he was rapping, he didn't get that kind of, you know, confirmation from the dad or family or anything yeah. like that. But when he started doing, you know, the singing, this kind of yeah. uh, stuff, you know, his dad actually heard a song called him and said, yeah, this is the type of songs that, you know, I want, you I, to be I, making. I, I, I want you to be doing. So Kofi Kinata, I don't think there's much to say about his, you know, prowess as a musician. I think he's quite accomplished right. and he has done it in a i like musicians who are not gimmicky he has done it in such a there's absolutely no sort of you know drama around him no. to mm. promote his mm. music mm. the only thing he's actually putting out there is the music so yes. the music is actually what is doing the talking for him yeah. which is 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 is, 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 is totally awesome for me one thing I'd like to look, um, uh, I'd like to look forward to, is he being able to break out of the Ghana scene and be a little more international. I know he sings predominantly in the local dialects and all of that, but you know where the music in the world is going, it's important that some of. I feel in a way he he kind of holds that sort of in still that indigenous sound mm. of Ghanaian music. Mm. So it would be great if, you know, his his tentacles spreads, you know, out there. But he's doing very awesome yeah. and this type of encouragement is very important. I think the, I've forgotten the year, but um it's it, it's quite surprising that Kofi Kinata has not won artist of the year before. Oh yeah. You know I think mm. it was him and Kwame Eugene. Kwame Eugene. When Kwame yeah. Eugene, when Kwame Eugene it. edged it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, that should tell you that, you know, artists are not just made by awards. Sometimes oh. when you win the people. Oh, that's coming yeah. from you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 greatest, the, the, the greatest award you can get uh. is to be on the side of the people. Oh. That the people, oh. the, the, the music actually resonates with nice with, with you. i love that you're saying this okay. because you didn't say that a couple of days ago about in a, in a whole different conversation but that conversation was off the screen set, yeah so i mean off the set so we don't want to bring it back but wow. now that you're saying you know it's not just an about winning an award mm. okay. that that really settles well with me okay so well, that does because <laughs> you were asking if a certain artist has ever been awarded artist of the artist year, of the year. Yeah, but, but, in, but, in, but, a in a conversation and the way compare, you said it you don't compare apples to oranges <laughs> i think in the case in the case of kwame eugene this no, is very relevant no. in that other case which we wouldn't have that discussion here 
right now. Uh -huh. I, I think, I think, um, um, you see, and, and even Kwame Eugen, and, and we are not trying to start any comparison, anything. Kwame yeah. Eugen and then Kofi Kenata are, are apples and oranges. Oh, yes. You know, oh, yes. both may they say not, they are doing they are high life, same. but mm. we know who the high life person really is. I you know. know. You know and yeah, so for me, between Kwame Eugen and Kenata, I'm picking Kenata. Yeah. That so is just they are the, apples and oranges. They are apples and oranges. Yeah, so. But what he said about Kofi expanding his tentacles is very, very important. Yeah. I think some big strategic, not big, strategic international yeah. collaboration yeah. Will, will, really help. will really help him. And then this um, toss. Yeah. I think he's he, grounded to he, to start he, doing he, he, that yeah. that um that kind of Kenaisoba tour. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Back to back yeah. Europe, Asia, you know, I think that kind he'll of tour. Get, he'll get yeah. quite yeah, right, it's, 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 crowd with because that. I believe his music, though it's sung in the local language predominantly, is very marketable. Yes. And, Absolutely. And, 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 it's and, very and marketable. It resonates a lot with yes. different classes right. of people. Oh, yes. Yes. I've seen Kofi Kinata performed I think twice. Um, one of it was when I was on campus, which obviously yeah. is uh, students. Mm. Yeah. And then the other, I think that was, it was a corporate gig, you know, SG. Yes. So, and I think he does a lot yes. of yeah. uh, corporate, corporate gigs, yes. you understand? Yes. So, th there is that, you know, his music is you not know, just. He's segmented. even a brand ambassador for um, one of the insurance companies, Millennium. Is it Millennium? Yeah, wow. I think one of them. Wow. Yes. Enterprise. Yeah. Is it yes. Enterprise? Yeah. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. Together with um, the the gospel, yeah, the gospel yeah. music, Dinah, is it Dinah Hamilton? Yeah, yeah, Dinah Hamilton. No, no, it's, no, not, it's not, not Dinah Hamilton. It is, it is. Okay. Okay, right. Um, so yes, I mean, I think you both have said it all. I I love Kofi Kenata, and <clears throat> and every time I have to talk about him, um, I I say it, you know, I say it with a lot of uh, pride, because when he was coming. When Kofi Kinata was coming mm. up, I was actually in Takradi at the time. And so I was I was one of the first people who ever interviewed him on radio, like ever, wow. ever, ever. Mm. <laughs> wow. You know? And he had this punky Joe at the time that I would laugh at. And to see the growth he's had over the years, I I it's, have it's nothing but admiration yeah, for him. And um, yeah, I mean I think he's doing very, very well. Yeah. And, and so, yes, he should spread his wings and, and go all the way. And, and the thing about music that, for me, is so exciting is um, we don't need to understand what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, music itself is a language. Yes, yeah. we really don't need to understand what you're saying. I listen to a lot of Diamond Platinum songs, and they are very local, and I, really, I have no idea what he's saying. But with him especially for the most part because I think he's a sexy man. Mm -hmm. So yes. But um, outside of that, that's the thing. Like mm -hmm. Flavor, Flavor in Nigeria or from Nigeria yeah, right. has songs that we don't understand. Yeah, yeah. Right. In a language we really don't understand. Yeah. But we love him. It's True. the communication in the song. Mm -hmm. And I, lo I know a lot of people who have that. Um, Brenda Fassi, uh, um, South African, uh, a, a, rest a, her soul. A, a very good example is right. also Sarkodie. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you know, we'll have songs that right. we have no idea mm -hmm. what the song means, but, you know, the feeling it gives us and the way we will move to the song, it's almost as if we fully understand. So there's another one we grew up listening to. I don't know the, the, the songs that Birima. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's Yusu Ndur. Yeah, that's Yusu Ndur. Uh -huh, right, yeah. right. I've yeah, never it's been able to... <laughs> that's the title. I've never been able to pronounce that. There, 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 there are so many examples. Oh, yes, like many, Maria many. Maria Makiba, uh, Makiba. Like, yeah. all, all of those yes. ones, you know, yes. you don't, yes. you don't yes. understand yes. the songs, yes. but yes. somehow yes. Yes. it resonates with yes. you a lot. Or sometimes there's just um one English line right. that warms your heart because you feel like, oh, you know, something to hold on to in yeah. the middle of the song. Mm -hmm. I think Flavor's latest, um, you know, the one that says, uh, the emperor and the conqueror, something, something, the lion, lion is, is here. here. <laughs> that's the only thing that's in English. Everything else, we yeah, don't know what they are saying, you, saying, you know? know? But we that's still cool. love the song. So music itself, like you said, is a language. a language. Never mind what language you're speaking or singing in. Once the song resonates, once the people can connect, that's all you need. Yeah. It's in the beat. That's why producers are always very specific. They feel like they make the song. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it's, the, you know, the, 
the uh, you call it beat, right? Is it the beat? Mm -hmm. The yeah, sound. The, the yeah, sound yeah. Yeah. that comes with the song. It does something to you. Yeah. Even before the words appear. Yeah. You know, there are some musicians that would write a lyric before getting a beat. There are some who would also hear the beat. I think for most musicians, yeah. they like to hear yeah. the sound. Then yeah. that's what creates the, the, inspiration. the inspiration. Yes, yes. I ha there are a lot of Michael Jackson songs that I, um, I sometimes play just the beginning, yeah. or skip and play just the middle. Yeah, you know and it. it's only for the sound. Mm -hmm. You know, I I think a, a good example for me is. Um, uh, watch him call uh, Sam Smith's okay. um, song mm. that was a score for the, the 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 Bond movie Writings on the Wall. Mm -hmm. okay. Towards the end, there's right. an orchestra. Okay. Okay, and the orchestra, the way it plays and the sounds it makes, and it gets to a point where it changes a little bit. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, and, and I and love and you know, sounds actually have something that they do to your mood. Oh, yes, you understand? Yes, there are, there are some sounds you hear, it gets you Enya, more aggressive. You know, yeah, Enya, Enya, yeah, right. the sounds they will do something to you, right? Exactly. You know, exactly. they, they are they, their sounds are the ones that people usually use, um, when they are doing all these, um, dirges. Yes, but unfor fortunately, unfortunately, she doesn't call it a dirge, I think she calls it inspirational music yeah but we have made it um a yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 all right we're moving on and t flow is coming hard up medical says that um it's because it's time for vgma um you know he wants attention and calls him a cry baby and we know ghanian rapper t flow who's on was it your list no it mm. wasn't your list no. it was um it was tahir's list yeah um, T Flo. Flo is one of his favorite rappers. Yeah. He has replied to Medical's claim that he's jealous of his achievement in the music industry over the years. Now, according to Medical, um, he will never do a collaboration with his colleague rapper T Flo because T Flo is envious and jealous of his achievement in the music industry over the years. Now, T Flo was before Medical. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, the two rappers have been going at each other after T Flo questioned the source of Medical's wealth, which he flaunts on social media. Uh, Medical said, and I quote, I don't see myself doing music with T Flo. He's envious of me. He's jealous of me. He hates me and he doesn't wish me well. And he wishes to be in my position. Now, Tiflo made a statement back in 2020 during an interview. Mm -hmm. He questioned which artist can play shows and get money to buy a Range Rover. Uh, when you put me in that position, what are you trying to say? Medical asked. Uh, he was my guy. We played games in my house together. He added, Tiflo has finally reacted to Medical's claims. So, this, I think this has gone beyond music, and it feels yeah, like it's a now, personal. It's now, it's now starting to feel very personal. Yeah, I think. Um, so is that to say they were friends before? Yeah. Because medical says yeah, he should be in my house, to the house like, and all of that. It's, so it's it, it, it started personal, private, personal, private. It got public, and now it's becoming public personal. personal. Right. <laughs> That's quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting break that you give into it. So, um, with T Flo and Medical, mm. I don't know what the exact issue is between them, but I think Medical just mentions that. But I think even before uh, this interview, that T Flo probably said that there was already something brewing. I think um, during the time Medical and Strongman had that beef mm. thing, I think T Flo was somehow involved in it. I don't know, but um, there was this track on which uh, both of them were. Um, the one with Sakodie, where T Flo, Medical, I think Strongman, and some, I think um, some other people okay. were on it. The I, other people will not be very happy about right. how you have not acknowledged. Them. <laughs> well, <laughs> they should. I'm just them. kidding. I'm just you kidding. Know, for the purposes of this conversation, exactly. it was, Let's it keep was, it at that song was entirely rap. Yeah, it was, it was yes. like Sakodie and his yeah children. His, his people. His people. I think even Toy Boy was on that. Or oh, maybe mm. not. That's different. You, th 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 there's been two of them. Oh, right. Oh, okay. okay. Sakodi has done quite a couple of them. But I, I, I particularly, for the purpose of this conversation, okay. I think I yeah. this um, So um, I think on that track, if I listen to it, I say T Flo Flood, medical. medical on it. I don't know whether that is the genesis of the issues between them 
or not. But um, like what Siflo is saying, I feel I earlier on talked about um, Kinata not being gimmicky. Right. I feel medical is very gimmicky. You know, I know there are people here who who, who, who might extremely. not extremely. I might not be happy what extremely. I'm saying. Extremely. But, but but that is actually the fact. Extremely. I think when you look at medical's career at every point in time that he really blows out or his name gets on people's lips is usually some sort of drama you understand um one of if you look at um one of the things that blew medical up was his relationship with deborah vanessa you understand though you know he was somehow coming up the name wasn't really out there yeah. till some of these things started happening right. and then when he lost out on those seven vgma nominations his name dropped and then now there is a, a breakup and then there is some sort of drama again then he drops a song so it looks like he has realized that you know for his music to be able to be on everyone's lips like it is um he needs to do a little bit more of uh, some gimmicks you know which is actually helping him that is not bad but um when you are trying to involve other people in it that they might not even, i think tiflo is currently outside i don't know what's the flow I, I don't know um he's not out like he used to be mm. yeah i don't mm. really get to hear a lot of his songs dropping like uh he used to be but is he doing music full time I don't that is so. what i don't know maybe i don't know whether he's in school or I think so. yeah yeah maybe he's focused on other things but that's yeah, the thing right. and the kind of pressure we put on on musicians right. or, or recording artists is because okay you've done a first album and it was good mm -hmm. so now where's the second album, where's the second album? <laughs> when we have no idea what your plan is yeah you know somebody yeah. says i'm just dropping this first album i'm gonna take 10 years to do mm -hmm. other things and come back but because we don't know what the plan is yeah, after yeah. six months we're like uh -huh, what's next mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. and um, social media and society will put, we'll a, lot put a lot of pressure i you. think there was a conversation about artists being depressed i think you sent yeah, me yeah, right. a yeah. screenshot of yeah, that right, because right. the 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 demand Demands. or the expectation, expectation is is too high yeah you know and we've had a lot of them complain yeah. Um, about being depressed at one point or another because they just couldn't handle that. Yeah, and, and, and for some of them, this is what they need to do, like what Medical is doing, to be able to always... Cause it's, what, I, the gimmicks? I, yeah, the gimmicks, because that is what gets us talking. And that's what some of them has, have actually realized. You okay. get to see um, Shatawale sometimes do also try to create some sort of conversation, and then he puts the music out some artists have realized that that is the path to go so for business to you know, keep rather, them afloat yeah to keep them afloat. i think <laughs> until that, the music comes until the music let's comes, do or some or comedy when the music <laughs> or, or 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 when the music is out yeah they decide to do it so that people will go and check the song out yeah you understand so it looks it looks to me like this is very consistent oh, yeah. with medical yeah. so it's no it's, it's absolutely no surprise to me so that what that means is that we should appreciate or we should, um, we should, uh, you know, tap the shoulders of people like Kofi Kenata. Yeah. Who will just drop the song and allow the song to do its job. Right. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. There's nothing around it. No. This is the song. This is the song. Like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I, I don't have any time for comedy or none of that. Yeah. I've just dropped the song. Yeah. Pay attention to the song and like it or right. love it or so, whatever. So, so in, 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 in saying that, I feel like another person who's really um, come a long way without all of the unnecessary drama is Ochiame Kwame. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he it, just it, drops his song and yeah, goes away. Yeah, the yeah. only thing we know if he's coming out to say anything is probably about him and his wife and you know the kind of things they do to right. make their marriage last, which is away from the music. And, and the it's other. usually not at a time where he's about to do music yeah. or there's yeah. never any... Random connection it's yeah. just a random yeah, conversation right. yeah. he'll drop a song and go mm -hmm. yeah. and allow it to do its job and he's done that you know True, he's yeah. also a transgenerational yeah. artist yeah. Yeah. And, and he's but, done but really I, i'd also like and to say he's that still doing hip he life I'd, I'd also like to say that um um in saying that some artists are gimmicky i'm not trying to say that they are doing the wrong thing that if that is their part that is what they think works for them and is good for business so that I, is fine i, I think the, the right th the right word would be uh, their pr strategy yes. yeah probably, yes. their PR probably. Strategy. so that is their strategy they can keep to it but i'm personally not impressed
Right. You understand? Right. I, I, I prefer an artist that is more, that lets the music, you know, do, do the a, lot, work. a lot more talking. But if it's your part, that's fine. Yeah. I mm. um, would like to apologize uh, because we're having a lot of break in, in breaks in the transmission. Um, obviously, because of the weather, we really apologize. But um, we're doing everything we can to stabilize it so that you can have more of us. Um, in the meantime, mm -hmm. um, I love Shatawali. Mm -hmm. I have to say, mm -hmm. there's something about the man. There's something about the man. You, you see, um, I've always maintained that I'd much rather the person who shows me all of him, who he is, mm -hmm. know he won't hold anything back, express it all the way, than the person who wants to be politically correct mm -hmm. and holds everything back and gives me a front that's not a real front. That's what makes me love Shatawali. That's it. what you see is what you get. What you <laughs> Nothing else to be done, you yeah. know. And I, I've, I always love a man who's not afraid to make any kind of statement mm -hmm. if that's what that's he what wants to make. Like, to you know. All right. You can't show me nothing. Yeah, I don't yeah. fear anybody. He'll do whatever he wants to do, <laughs> say whatever he wants to say. And and I and I love him even more because of his comedic side. Right. Like sometimes he'll just come out and say something that will just crack Very you up. Funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like and, and he does these things. He, I'm he, wondering. He shows but you the, the child inside. I know. You know, I know. without any um, yeah. Various. Yes. You know, he just offers it's, it. It's, it's he will live long. Yeah. yeah I say that people who are young at heart mm. and light, they are featherweight. Mm -hmm. They don't carry a Burgess, lot of baggage. Bagging, right. They don't hold things back. You know, I, and I feel like that's how life should be lived. Mm. There are people who are still holding things that happened to them eight, uh, 80 is too far, like 30 years ago. And they still have a problem with the person who did that to them or mm -hmm. was in the middle of that thing 30 years ago mm -hmm. and they are still holding on to that after 30 years mm -hmm. it's so unnecessary mm -hmm. it will add to your health problems that's the honest truth right, yeah. it will add to your health problems if you yeah. carry a lot of emotional and mental baggage it will weigh you you will look much older than you yeah. should you know i like i, so, li I like how you've 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 eulogized uh, Shatawali. And, yeah. and so i love no, honestly, <laughs> i do i love people who are lightweight okay. i do the other day i was telling yeah. a friend of mine that um one not one of my favorite people if yashua is the guy she's not one of my favorite people but i feel like she's very lightweight like even when she's coming at you and she has a thing about it, like she teases you. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Like, and, 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 <laughs> and, and it's the same thing with Shatawali. Yeah. You know, there, there's this side of them that is very aggressive, and there's this also very jovial yes. side of them, which is very smart. Two extremes. Exactly. Yes, two extremes. So it's like it's a hate and love, yes. um, you know, relationship yes. with yes. them. Yes. What I don't like about Shatawali, he doesn't seem to be consistent with, you know, his path. Sometimes he'll say this, and then he'll come and, you know, Oh, but, Literally. but but we, we but we all know and and i think that um you know it has been established over the years mm -hmm. generations and generations that it is only a fool who doesn't change their change minds mind. so you can i don't think that um some beliefs and 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 some things you you um some school of thoughts you had mm -hmm. 10 years ago you're still in that same place well, there are some that I might still in, in the, I might but still be in that same place, them. but there will be some exactly. that are probably more. We, we change. Yeah. We evolve yeah, as but people. What I'm talking about is a consistent thing. Let it be. <laughs> Do your thing. Do your thing, Shadowali. I mean, Shadow let it be. I mean, know, the good thing Shadow is. Shadowali will have a private conversation with Sarkodie about, you know, something concerning the industry, and then Shadowali will be the same person, you know, to come and. Blow it uh, well, you know, I loved it when Sarkodie had that um, song with Bob Marley and 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 Shatawali said, hey, well, I mean, he said, I had a collaboration with the ghost. <laughs> and, and the way he said it, you know, yeah. and the humor to it. Yeah. And he is who he is. Okay. Dealing with a person like that is much, much easier. You know why? Anyway, you, you know, know exactly what, what to expect right. when you're dealing with a No surprises. Like this morning, mm -hmm. 
I, I was just about to come out when Sky said, oh, I'm, I was just coming to knock on the door when you came out. And mm. I said, where's the surprise? If it was you, uh, problem no day. Because I know it is only you two who do it. Mm. If it had happened to be another person, then I'll be surprised. Right. So w when you're dealing with people like that, you know exactly what to expect. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy. It's much, much easier dealing with people like that mm -hmm. than dealing with people that have only showed you a front right. so, and you have no idea what's so, at the back. So, so largely, so, so. you can see <laughs> his mind's construction. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 but he's quite an erratic person. So you oh, can't... You no. can't... You, no, you, for but me, you I, I, know I don't think that. No, be. but because you know that, you know how to deal with him. So where's the surprise? And, and, and he wears his hat on his sleeves. Yes. So you might be a very good friend of Shatawale. Yeah. But if things go south, you know <laughs> Shatawale will. Yeah. 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 And because Explain you that. know that, you will also be wary the kind of information and the kind of things or the length to which you do certain things. Right. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying it's so much easier. Mm -hmm dealing with people like that. Mm -hmm. The surprise will be the person that you think is mm -hmm. not capable of that and will show you Pepe in the mm -hmm. end. You know what I mean? I don't think it's easy to deal with Shatawali. Oh, I think <laughs> it is. Because almost every single person uh -huh. he came up with, uh -huh. I, I don't think, think they are... They, they, no, they are, I think they are maybe what together. it is is that they are not smart enough. Mm -hmm. Or they, they haven't not, figured... So he's the smartest person in his No, circle. they haven't because figured... Because I think, I think his, his, his crew... <laughs> um, I, I've forgotten their name. Joined 77, all of those. I, I don't think any of them is with him. Right. Yes, but I think if, if you look at his, <laughs> it's because they haven't figured him out. Okay. If they had, they would okay. know how to deal with him. Um, uh, we're still on medical, and uh, he has thrown his weight behind Black Sheriff for Artist oh, of okay. the Year mm. at this year's Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. Um, so um, medical says, listen, Black Sheriff is definitely going to be Artist of the Year. Medical is currently doing a media tour to promote. Sorry, to promote, promote his latest project, Code and Trophies, I disclosed in an interview that it will give him great joy if the 21-year-old snagged the ultimate on the day. So he's all for Black Sherry. Yeah. I think he's not the only one. No, yeah, I think, I think it's Black a whole Sherry. bandwagon. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting in the front. Black, Black <laughs> Sherry, I mean, uh, has been great. Um, I think apart from... Sarkodie's debut, Black Sheriff's debut, has been one of those ones. I think Kwesi Arthur came out and he was looking like that. But yeah, yeah but yeah. you know, where everyone seems to love him, right. you know, when they came out, you know, out the gates, everyone just accepted them, right. you know, and Black Sheriff has this big superstar power. Like, he is very charismatic, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, one of the things that I think he did that was very important for him was to get a deal quick, you know, get on a record label. And, you know, everything has been very strategic. Everything has been very intentional. A good most, record label. Exactly. Right. Most of the guys, when they come out, it's usually the boys, boys thing, you know. But even if you want to keep the boys, boys thing, you can still go under a proper label, yes. you know. But sometimes the fear is that maybe you are not that big and they are going to take advantage of you. But Black Sheriff is a very good example of what a label can do for you, mm -hmm. you know. And mm -hmm. for me, if he doesn't win the Artist of the Year, I'll be very surprised, you know. Yeah. And um, a lot of people I, will. I, be. I think I think the only person that can stop him is the the gospel, uh, the uh, PSC Esther. 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 I think Not because can even be um, a big challenge in here because mm -hmm. the year he had a good year. He had a very great yes, year, but but. Mm -hmm. He broke YouTube at a point oh, yes. with his um, the, the the remix of um, that touch the touches, touches the touches you know and it wasn't that's like India okay yeah. <laughs> that's huge that's yeah. that's huge numbers okay. Okay. very huge oh, yeah. he broke YouTube in yeah. twenty four hours yeah. He, yeah he he got some very big numbers yeah. Yeah. it's no joke yeah. and Kiddy Kid yeah. is a very big contender yeah. very big for artists contender. I won't rule him out yes. no I, a, a part of me is for Black Sharif. But there's this other part speaking. Charlie Kiddy, yeah, is, but it's I'm not really out of, out of the I'm looking at the VGMA like and that back-to-back -back thing doesn't seem like a thing. Last year was Kiddy. Yeah, but that's, that's what I'm saying. That back-to-back, yeah. -back, like someone oh. winning it this year, winning it the next year, especially Who's artist done that? of the Who's year. Who's done that? Who's had 
I think so. who has back had that consecutive? Sakodia, Sakodia. Was it? No one. No, no, one, no, 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 no. Back no to one back. Has no, had it. Back to back. No, no, no. no one I, has. I'm not, I'm not sure no. anyone has had it. Sakodia yet. won. So that is that is and why. And a year later, he didn't. But subsequently, he, then he won, he won again. again. I think yeah. what was the issue was that it looks like when you win it once, you are not able to win it again. Sakodia broke that because mm. Sakodia won it more than more once. More than once. Yeah. But that back to back thing, as at least of the year, it's it's very tough. That is why I wouldn't. Maybe it will happen this year. A quote, this is VGMO. I mean, <laughs> anything is possible. Yeah, it's VGMO. I'd, I'd, I'd rather tip um, Black Sheriff. It's Richie Menzel's VGMO. Yeah. Black Sheriff. Um, Black Sheriff so who, 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 back who, back. Is, who is another contender? Yeah, in that's this what case. I'm saying. Esther, Esther Pierce. I'm <coughs> not saying PSC that because, Esther. because Esther. there's necessarily a lot of buzz around here in town. No, I'm saying that because the gospel people will vote. The gospel crowd, are, yes. they are a voting they, crowd. They will vote. <laughs> because that all the, the churches thing. will ask yes. that members and, and, vote. And she is Osekrum based, Kumasi based. Hey. So that, that itself it, comes Another it's solid so, so backing. It's, it's, but, I won't, it's a lot of but I won't go entirely for it because there's been others in the past who are also from Kumasi but didn't get the same mm. attention. But I think there's something that has happened after Joe Metal won. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has there's there's this big possibility now for in the a, gospel artists. Yes, in Dana, a lot of Dana minds. Hamilton had gone on to also win. Exactly. You she understand? won Artist of the Year? Yes. yes. And there was a she campaign. Did. She did. Um, was a before camp Kitty. Before, yeah, before, before Kitty. Before Kitty. Before Kitty. Yeah. Before Kitty. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like a, a secular artist gospel. Secular gospel. Mm -hmm. So if <laughs> so last year was secular because he has yeah, gospel. But, but I, I, would, I, I would say, I would say Black Sherry because right. I mean, he has done all the work. He and has. I think he, he, he that, has that, that, indeed. That recognition will be yeah, very, Yeah, he has very indeed. Great. I think for Black Sherry, we, we've all, um, I think it's been established that his was written in the stars. True. He was meant to be a star. Nothing in this world would have stopped that. Yeah. And he's just shining like he was meant yeah. to, yeah. you know. So we're all for it. Mm -hmm. And Sister Debbie says, Ghanaian, um, she's of course a Ghanaian model and artist and also former girlfriend to medical. Mm -hmm. That's part of her profile. I know. Great. <laughs> <laughs> now Sweet she... Ex. Yeah, she's speaking <laughs> for the LGBTQIA plus society in Ghana and uh, advising people who speak against the community to stop wearing designer clothes. Um, according to her, um, she's, she shared her reasons for her pro-gay activism in Ghana. She further explained that most investors and successful showbiz, showbiz stakeholders are members of the LGBTQ community. She adds that most of the top fashion brands are owned by queer persons and as such, anyone against them should also desist from wearing their brands. And I quote, I care a lot and I'm passionate enough because I have empathy. Secondly, in my industry, most of the people that are making it happen are part of the LGBTQ family or community. I don't even like the fact that it is a community. What is a community? We're all humans, right? I don't see why it should even be different, she said. Uh, so she said, look, um, don't wear designer clothes if, you're part, if, you, if you are against um, the, the community. Because most of them, and, and she said that uh, most of the people that are making it happen when it comes fashion. to her industry, fashion, modeling, um, maybe music mm. industry, <laughs> um, are all part of the community. In principle, she's right. Mm. There's, there are shades to the, what she's saying. In principle, she's right. Most of the people making it happen uh, 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 part, uh, are members of the LGBT community. Um, but most of the people generally making things happen are also human beings. <coughs> yes. They are everyday people. Yes. So um, I get what she's trying to say, that um, the selective um, outrage selective injustice or justice accusation should cease the hypocrisy should cease um so it, it makes a lot of sense what she's saying in principle um we we have to if if you don't like a person then don't like the ideas mm. you know but somehow a part of um 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 
divergent view also says that if you don't um, like a person, at least accept the ideas. Do you okay. get it? In, 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 in the entire conversation of accepting divergent views, mm. it says that mm -hmm. I don't like you. I, I, I may not like you. There's someone quoted, I may not like you, but I'll defend to death um, your, my, your right to say what you have to say. I think James Madison said something like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. That is it. Not liking the person, but liking their expression, yeah. their ideas and all of yeah. that. Now, Sister Debbie is saying that if you don't like the person, then don't like reject everything, reject about, everything them. about them. So these are two different principles, which are all true. You know, but um, I think it just boils down to love or accepting people for who mm. they are. Humanity. So, humanity. Um, personally, on LGBT, I, if, 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 if you want to fight this, which you can fight, but if you really want to fight this, I think it starts with understanding them. Yeah. You know, because there are people who've actually been, um, um, become whatever, and then reversed back to um, what we call normalcy or what some call normalcy, uh, which is another story or another perspective not very um, highlighted. There are people <clears throat> who become gays or whatever. Queer. Queers. And queer in itself, in principle, is someone who is questioning yeah. their identity. Yeah. So it's just not um, a, a green light that somebody will feel queer and, and you, you quickly conclude that he's a homosexual or she's whatever. People just want to see how they fit in this whole conversation, in this whole complex thing. Yeah. So they go <coughs> and then they realize that, okay, this is not for me, and then they come back. There are stories like that, but unfortunately, we hardly talk about those things. But in, 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 again, in principle, I think what um, Ms. Debbie is trying to say is mm. let us yeah. us have an open-minded yes. you know, approach to all of this. So, and um, I agree with her on that. Yeah. My, my, my opinions when it comes to the whole LGBT discussion is it's not very TV friendly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very it's not is it it's not it's not very tv friendly okay um i'd like to look at it this way i think in the global space there is a push for the whole LGBT. oh and and uganda just yeah. passed a bill exactly criminalizing exactly um, in, in, in the but in the entire global space there is a push for you know it to be accepted mm -hmm. you know but in our social situation, our social constructs in Ghana right now, Africa, or Africa in general, there is a stern, you know, Opposition. revulsion against it. So if you would want to speak for it on the global level and be accepted by the global community, you have a lot of backlash from Ghana. If you want to speak on it from the Ghana's, from the African Ghanaian point of view, you have a lot of backlash from the global community. What, is, so, what if so, you want so to speak to it from a human? That is what I'm coming to. Okay. Um, so for me, it's very important that in having such discussions, the facts are actually right. I think she doesn't do us any good by just throwing figures around like this. I would have preferred that she probably cited a source so that you know you can have a complete discussion about this. I just try to do a little Google search, you know, based on the story. And it's people in fashion. I think um, there's this, um, how do you call it, survey um, by Zipa.com. So they did about, say, about 3,000, over 3,000, you know, fashion designers. The survey was done. Over 80% were women, fashion designers. Mm -hmm. You know, you have about 17% being the <coughs> queer, LGBT, <coughs> and all of that. So that even destroys the point that she's making right now. I wish she had quoted her source so that we could actually have that discussion proper. But that notwithstanding, if even I want to play the devil's advocate and I want to go with what she's saying, I, I personally... Oh, when she said a lot, I don't, I don't think she meant globally. Yeah, but I think that there was... There was but even in the, Ghana, the, even in there Ghana... There seemed to be um, the, um, the suggestion that they are in, 
in the lead. Oh, yeah, but that is not true. Right. Yeah. That is it's not right. it's not actually true. Oh, Even right. if you look at inventions the world over, you know, if you are saying that if um, people heterosexuals and I don't I personally don't think people are really um, especially in this part of the world, they are against, you know, LGBT and all of those things. I just think the problem is, you know, heterosexuals keep their relationships to themselves. Mm -hmm. Like, don't put it in that. We don't want to know. That is, that is right. usually the general, you know, um, right. you know, um, the generally how people Thinking. actually actually look at it right. because if you are trying to normalize it you don't normalize things by making announcements that you know have come out no heterosexual actually comes out <laughs> you understand okay. so yes I, so i want to get with digo yeah. you know because now i'm <laughs> you know so if you want to normalize it and you know and and i like to state also that <clears throat> culturally in ghana it's not something that is acceptable right. culturally culturally yeah yes. and even on our in in our laws you know it's illegal currently um i i don't, I don't want to use the word illegal because i think there are some loopholes and yeah. that is why some yes. judges and courts yes. mm. trying to you know they are trying to make it criminal outright but i think there are some loopholes in the in in in, in the in the law so um coming back to deborah vanessa's uh, statement i don't think it promotes oneness i don't think it promotes um, the human course right. because I feel like people shouldn't be judged on their gender right. on their race yeah. on their sexuality I don't know how what your sexuality does to you on your job I don't see the, the relationship yeah, I don't the see correlation. the correlation because yeah. if you want to talk like this then you should say uh, probably maybe queer people should stay out of the internet because it's heteros it, it, it was made by heterosexual yeah. you understand so um, just so people don't misquote me, yeah. this is actually a sarcastic comment. Right. You understand? So, um, for me, there's no correlation. Right. I think this is uh, it's <clears throat> not a statement that I'd like to glorify. Um, she should uh, she should come to this from a place of uh, there should be a, a certain level of an intellectual discussion and from a place of grace. You know, most people there are some people who held very strong views against LGBT, but with time. They soften their views yeah. but when they begin to soften their views what they don't allow is for other heterosexuals and i think even heterosexuals are against um no you know but but they create the impression that if you are not you know part of that whole community mm. Mm. then you are against them right. so it's like a for or against right. situation right. which for me it doesn't it doesn't augur well I, I i i prefer for human beings to look at themselves first as humans than to look at themselves as uh, you know based on their sexuality and their gender and their race and 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 and, and all of those things right. so for me um, she, that statement uh, it doesn't do well for me it doesn't do yeah. well for you all right so um that's kofi black uh, yeah. with and his submission that is you being politically correct and that's you being politically <laughs> correct he says that it doesn't it doesn't settle well with him and uh, she should come again um so we're going to go for a quick break. This is Sun Up on Showbiz TV. My name is Natalia. Do stay tuned. Dawn of a new day, new hopes, new dreams, new ways. Open up my heart and I'm going to do my part and make this a positively beautiful day.
Showbiz TV. Beyond Music. Yo, Feli. You know what's on the one that was some boy. I think when I'm going around and I treat the good girl and bad enough. The way they do me don't stop. Oh, oh I go wrong, go find another lover. Make you shout for the rooftop. Oh. That's I'm your only girl. I've met so many men who've tried to win my love and favor. But it be only you at the pop. Oh. Nobody else, oh baby. Love me now, don't love me later. Love me now, don't love me later. Send me friend once. When I mention your name, I don't hear who Jimmy so. Now we're going to move on straight to Sun Up Feature. Do stay tuned. Alrighty, it's time for Sun Up Feature. And this morning we have a guest in the studio. We have a lady in the studio. And that excites me because um, we're still celebrating. Um, uh, it's Women's Month, oh, nice. you know. So to have a woman in the studio makes it very, very exciting. Feli Nuna. Hello. Jolene. Oh, she's in the studio <laughs> and that makes it very exciting. I have not seen you. In a very long time. Very, no, very actually, long. I think the last time I saw you was at was it Rockstone's office? You performed? Was it? Was it? Okay, then that would be a long time. Very still. long time. Yes. Very long time. Yes. Very long time. Mm -hmm. uh, you're welcome to Sun Up. Thank you. On Showbiz Thank TV. You. Thank you. And uh, this morning we're going to talk about everything. Okay. Everything we have not had, uh, you and I have not had the chance to talk about okay. in all these years. Yes. We're going to talk about them. So welcome again um, to Sun Up. Enig is in the studio with me. I said it almost as though I had already introduced him. Yeah. Uh, that's my senior producer who would usually join me um, on the set. When <clears throat> sorry, on the set when he pleases. Even though some days I'm like, look, today I'm in the mood for you. Come and join me. He would deny me and come when he pleases that kind of man is not a good man wow <laughs> that's a serious allegation yes no that kind of man likes to keep a low profile no so you know the kind of man stuff. who when you say i need you will deny you mm -hmm. and come to you when he wants is not a good man do you agree i agree uh -huh. you do 
I agree. Wow. <laughs> yes. That you should come to me. Believes in you. So. You know, you should come to me when I need you. I so, are we making an agreement moving forward that moving forward, you will. that's if when I fully agrees with you? Then I guess I have to be on the <laughs> same page. Great. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm elated to be here once again. I love doing interviews, so we might as well get into it. Okay. I love doing interviews. Okay. okay. So you so go. I go. Yeah. Okay. So. Have we done? Have we done a song? Have we done any of the songs yet? Have we played? Yes, a I have. Love but me now, playing. Yes, okay. we have. Yes. But we're going to okay. do some more. Okay. So let's just roll. So with no, that. I mean for starters, though, let's talk a bit about that song. What okay. was the theory, the narrative behind the song? Okay, so that song, "Love Me Now," um, very simple message: "Love me now, don't love me later." Mm. And um, exactly as she was saying, when I need you, show up. <laughs> That's it. Yes, I'm a friend Wakasa. When I mention your name, Odoye, we Jimmy. So, so it's just it's just reminding people to give flowers when the people are alive. You still know, alive. when the people when you can need still it. smell them. Exactly yeah. when yeah. you can. I actually have um, a line in the song, the second verse that. Um, many times we wait till the roses wither before we give it out. That's true. And that is life, but that's not the way it should be, mm. you know. So, um, yeah, that's just Love Me Now. Okay. Um, video, amazing video. I enjoyed shooting this video. I think we shot it in Coco Bite. Okay. Um, I'm a very big fan of production, putting things together for visuals. So this was quite challenging, but I loved it from the costume to the bringing the team together. We actually had about um, maybe about 50 or 50 or 60 people on set. This is one of my biggest productions ever. Okay. So yeah, it was it was really great. I love playing dress up. You know, it was it was great. Okay. Okay. Did you? Okay. Did you so Make okay, the selection yeah. of the clothes. I did, I did. Right. I always work closely with each and every one on whatever team I'm working with. Oh, right. So I work closely with the stylists, <clears throat> brought designers on board, and and yeah. yeah. Nice. I, I know this about you. I knew you, I used to rap. You were a rapper. I, I, I don't, you. not used to it. Thank you. You still rap. <laughs> I still rap. The thing is, uh, maybe I've not put out, the last time I put out a hip hop song was probably in. Um, Maybe I think 2020, um, but that I didn't shoot a video for. But the song is on all the dish, um, mm. the, um, the platforms, <clears throat> the digital platforms. But I always drop a verse or something in my music. Yeah. So like Afro Magic, the second verse, I drop some ace bars. But because it's not hip hop, people <laughs> assume that I yeah. don't rap, rap anymore. Yeah. But I still do rap because I have this theory that when a rapper switches to singing. Mm -hmm. They do very well because you know rap is a lyrical genre. Yes. So if a rap a rapper has to probably put together three verses of sixteens. Yes. Or two verses of sixteens. Yeah. Now to put together a song, you probably need just eight lines. Mm -hmm. You repeat the chorus somewhere. Mm -hmm. So when a rapper switches to singing, it's quite easier for them. Mm -hmm. Right. Is it the same for you? Um, it's I would say that I enjoy both um crafts. I mm. enjoy singing, I enjoy rapping. So I don't really think that any of them is easier than um, the other. I feel that sometimes some songs can be challenging as well because aside the lyrical context, the melody, mm. the range, all these <clears throat> type of things. But I mean, all both comes easy to me. So I'm just enjoying it and just going with the flow. But I know I've not rapped, released anything hip hop in a long time. Mm. And I'll say it here first. I think the next project I'm going to release will be um, a hip hop song. Wow. Whoop, whoop. Yes, yes. We Loose cannot flash. wait. Loose we flash. cannot <laughs> wait for Loose that. We're, we're here Loose for flash. it. Well, what has been the most challenging aspect of pursuing music for you? Hmm. I think um, right off the bat, it would be finding the right team. Um, have I've always worked with teams from the record labels or managements that i've been with i've never had a team that has like sort of groomed me from the top and um, from the bottom till now so it, it's it usually ends up like we, we end up having like different visions or maybe i'm not really feeling the output when it comes to the work <coughs> and stuff so um they end up falling off Okay. on the journey but yeah. i really wish that i had had a team that we were growing and pushing together yeah. but most of the time i realized that they are not as serious as me yeah. so i end up yes. um, leaving artistic them. differences right yes. artistic and um also when it comes to the business the music business the actual work mm -hmm. yeah i'm um, unfortunately all the teams i've had don't match my energy oh. so i mean when my contract ends then i just move on so do I'm you hoping have that now though 
Do you have that kind of team? You um, always... So now I have a team that I formed. <clears throat> So I have my own management team okay. and people that I brought together okay. um, to work. So I assigned roles and okay. I am the team lead on, okay. on everything. So yeah. you, you're still your own management? I'm still my own management. Okay. Like everything goes through me. Okay. Yeah, as opposed to um, it coming, mm. trickling down mm. and that takes a longer time right. to get jobs, yeah, like get the, the, the work done. Right. Yes. Yeah. So which one, which one would you prefer? Um, you know, being your own management or, or doing it by yourself. You've been mm -hmm. you've been with a record label. Yeah, I've been with. I've moved to three record labels. Three right. Record labels. Right. I just, my last deal ended um, just last year. I was signed to ODG. Okay. But they didn't match my energy. So after my contract ended, I didn't renew it. Right. Mm -hmm. So comparing that um, with what you're doing by yourself, mm -hmm. would you? Which one? You know. Do you it's prefer? Better. Okay, so currently, um, I'm having an easier time working with my own management team mm. because I'm seeing progress, like rapid progress as compared to when I was with the label. You see it in the analytics, you see it in the numbers, you see it in the shows and gigs that I'm playing. And um, yeah, so I'll say for now, it's I'm in a better place managing my own affairs right but ideally <coughs> i would want a team that is well equipped mm. um, like really driven mm -hmm. ready right. to actually push to the global stage you know right. the global market and then it makes it takes a lot of pressure off me then i can also focus more on the creative aspect, aspect and not have right. to Focus on having multitasking, to, yeah, that, yeah, finding yeah. deals, and yes. yeah, and also it's it's easier because I it's easier when you have some people front for you because when people have the direct, like, the direct access. access, they I mean as as it, they just take advantage of it, yeah. and, Absolutely. and it's it's yeah. not it's not cool. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. you that. you can't negotiate um, as much as. Um, uh, you know, you, you have another person negotiate exactly. on your behalf. Yeah. Exactly. And, and then al also because people may know you personally, mm -hmm. uh, they take advantage of it or go through other people who know you yes. yeah. and you end up doing a deal that ideally you should have gotten a certain amount mm -hmm. for. You're yeah. doing for so yeah. much less because of all the dynamics. Yeah, yeah. and then people yeah. like to guilt trip you a lot oh, yeah. as the artist. Yeah. Oh, you need to do this. It's your fans. They yeah. love you. But they forget that it's also a business yeah, and yeah, stuff. So yeah. if, if um, like most of the time now, because I, I need to restructure my affairs and make sure that everything is in, in order, whoever is re representing me, I'm always by the person's side. So even, even if you're not talking to me directly, mm -hmm. I'm still with... Um, whoever you are speaking to, whoever my right. rep is, and they always try to use some sort of mind games to try and let me lower my price. Yeah, and then you end up, and when you end up even lowering it, the the amount of respect or even the work that they are even supposed to do to make sure that you are comfortable and yeah. things like that, they usually take advantage of it. Yeah. So so now, please, if you don't want to talk business, please don't come. Don't, don't come if you're not ready to talk business. <laughs> Co correct me if I'm wrong though but your debut ep was davi it's titled davi no is that it? that's you, your yeah, yeah i think you're mistaking me for miss v. v okay so i'm a bit so no because which, she's she, because she says davi diva yes okay so i'm so, davi diva like ever since i became fairly new now davi diva just tagged along, tagged along. Yeah. Okay. so the debut ep is so i don't have an ep I've okay. I have many singles, but I don't have an EP, and that's and that's how we rectify this year. Okay. Yeah. Yes, that's okay. how we rectify this. We year. look forward to it. We yeah. absolutely look yeah. forward to it because yeah. you're, um, you know, one of the very talented um, women in the industry. Thank you. Definitely. And I think it brings again into the conversation of. Um, representation mm -hmm. and and of course because also it's women's months mm -hmm. i'd like to push more in that direction yes. how comfortable are you in the industry as a woman um i think i could get more comfortable there's room yes, for improvement there's room, <laughs> much 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 room for improvement right yes um but uh I, it, it, Honestly, there's room for improvement. What are some yeah. of the challenges? What yeah. what would jump up to you if you have an example um, that you would say happened just because I'm a woman? Hmm. Uh, I think most of the time the 
people like to get too familiar right they don't like to focus on the business aspects and right. they feel like they can get too friendly with you right. or want to harass you sexually right or make some demands of you right. like those kind of things just so, so they can do something back ju yeah. yes just just so we can work right you know mm -hmm. because um if you're coming to me for a show or to promote me or to manage me or to work with me it's an exchange of value right so we should focus on that value we should focus on the work ahead you know the what the work at hand what we need to do but most of the time like they just want to just be too familiar and right. it's, it's just so annoying and ask for other things that may not necessarily have anything to yeah. do with the business yes ask for like sexual relationships or right. favors and things right. like that and how do you deal with that yeah. um currently me i'll just tell you off so, um okay. first when i was um younger I, I i used to be um what's the word intimidated by right. their position or their power mm -hmm. but now i'll, I'll, I'll freaking blast you right and and i will I will go crazy on you. Like I, right. I don't even, I don't tolerate it right. at all. I don't, and I don't care if you have a million dollars. If that's what you want to do, please get out of my life. I don't right. even care about you. And because the thing is, they don't even respect you. That's, the, the, that means that the person doesn't even even see past your 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 body. The person doesn't even even. Acknowledge, acknowledge that you have anything to offer. Your talent. Yeah. Ac acknowledge your talent. Yeah. So so that disrespect. I will match you with that disrespect. And I had that incident even currently, right now. It's not even like I've been in the game just a few years. I've been in the game for a while. And mm. to know that I still go through these things is, is mind-blowing. Um, during Bam Bam promo, uh, some TV station, a TV station's head or owner or whatever, doesn't want to play my music because he moved to me and I blasted him. And he told me that I disrespected him. How did I disrespect you? How? Ask how him. Did I, how did Ask I disrespect him. you? I, I, I told him off completely. Yeah. So because of that, he doesn't play my music. Mm -hmm. On the and station? Yes. Yeah. And that I need to apologize before you play my music. Apologize for? Apolo didn't, didn't, didn't you disrespect me? Are you okay? <laughs> I like that. I like, like, I like the way she's blunt about I, it. I, yeah, know, I, mean, I know. I know. You always have to be like that. It's, it's totally appalling. Like, it's right. appalling. Yeah. Like, right. Because you think about it. I don't know if the males go through this as much, you know. I and, doubt that. And why? And I feel like that's why our industry is not even growing. I know we've right. seen as many females right. in the industry pushing. Like, and this is you who's actually been here for a minute. So mm -hmm. I can imagine for people who are coming yeah, in, yeah. they will be so harassed. Yeah. Yes. And like yeah. you, you rightly said, because you, you know, when you had started, you were intimidated mm -hmm. by yes. these people mm -hmm. and they, they know they have that power. Yes. Yeah. So they deliberately intimidate you into giving into all kinds of things Mass. that, yeah. you know. It's yeah. so unfortunate. I was even um, at an interview this week and then um, the presenter was telling me that a, a, one of these executives did the same thing to her, told her bluntly that he has to sleep with her before um, he works with her and that he has to be, before she becomes famous he, too, he, has to, he also has to enjoy her, you like know? the hell, aren't you going to make money, can't you focus on that's why you remain poor I, I, I think and they know how vulnerable Ghana. females are yeah. and, yeah. Yeah, know, and know. also um, how much they want yeah, what they, they want, want mm -hmm. a lot of people are passion driven yeah. and so because they are looking for a particular thing exactly. you know, these people at the top try to do an exchange mm -hmm. for it mm -hmm. and it's almost as if I'm doing you a favor by employing but you yeah. Doing yeah. me a favor because it's an exchange of value. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's yes. let's do another visual. Then when we come, you talk about it a bit because besides the interview, they have to understand the music too. Yes. So yes. let's do another visual. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm late to the party, but I don't 
welcome back from that music break, Feli Nuna. It's so uh, With Towel. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, I can't just say your name without saying it like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Even I can't. I know. I know when I'm saying your name, I just have to take all the pauses and the breaks yes. to get the effect I'm looking <laughs> for. So she's in the studio with us um, yeah. this morning and we're talking everything and more. Your music, maybe get a little bit into your private life. If mm. you open the door for us, <laughs> we will enter. Um, we want to know everything there is to know okay. and, and, and what to expect the rest of the year. Because you mentioned that you're your own management, uh, you know, typically there's a plan for the year, mm -hmm. right? What are we to expect? So definitely, um, I'm just waiting for the right time to release an EP because okay. I feel like it's time to release a body of work. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I'm still contemplating on the time, mm -hmm. the, the dates. Mm -hmm. uh, the work is in progress okay. and it's very exciting. Um, it's maybe called the Big Girl Pants. Mm -hmm. And um, you know when they say put on your big girl oh, pants? Yeah. Yeah, so that's to take charge, to yeah. own up. Yeah. And I feel like that's, that's the place I am in in my life yeah. right now. And also um, through that, I would also launch a podcast as well okay. called The Big Girl Pants. Okay. And um, it's just a platform for women to come and talk about anything and everything from the girl child through to womanhood, your nice. experiences, just a way to inspire and educate the next woman yeah. and even guys, you know, just for them to know more about our affairs yeah. right. and know how to treat us better. Right. Um, my platform, I like to use my platform for um, as a voice to, to just project anything mm. female. Yeah. So um, I'm looking to collaborate as well this year. And just to create and have fun, no yeah. pressure. This, this year yeah. is fun creation and just having a good time taking it easy yeah. Yeah. taking it easy yes you've anyway. been doing this for a while what mm -hmm. has been your favorite or your most cherished concert experience Ooh. Hmm. there's there's this concert or this show that i had that has that holds a very special place in my heart and um it was in the early stages of my career okay nothing has been able to top that that was when i performed in kenya for the coke studio africa oh, yeah. I remember yeah. That. yeah it was yeah. really really great um, mm -hmm. i loved the reception um due to the the level of production mm -hmm. the seriousness like i felt like i was actually doing something yeah. and i liked that and um yeah and aside that, I would say was another time I performed in China too. And for people who don't speak English and don't know my <laughs> yeah. music, right. the way they were dancing and, mm. and repeating a Joleme, like wow. it was just wow. so interesting. And, it, mm. and then it just showed me how powerful music is and mm. how it translates even further than words, you mm -hmm. know. So mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, I think those two. Yeah. They, you talked about your transition from that intimidated girl to the girl who knows how to handle her the best. The big girl pants. <laughs> now, it, 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 it makes me want to ask, in, in what other way has the music industry changed you? How has it transformed you? Oh, um, hmm. I think it's, it's just been life. Just, just growing up, mm. just learning from your mistakes. Right. Because God knows I've made many. Um, <laughs> right. Just, just, um just living mm -hmm. and appreciating the process and um one thing i'm grateful for is like uh, for my music journey is it has taken me all around the world right. all around the world and and it's just so nice to see because the young girl who or the young felly who knew that she wanted to be this person i never knew i wanted to be a musician but i just knew that i wanted to do something that brings joy mm -hmm. to right. people and me right. that i would love doing and to see myself doing this it just gives me like more hope for the future because yeah. i even me now i have bigger aspirations and the mm. fact that i've even been able to achieve the aspirations of a younger me mm -hmm. i'm mm -hmm. very confident mm -hmm. about yeah. the future yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you consider all the globe shots in your biggest accomplishment? No, the, the my, my, what do you consider my, your my biggest, biggest accomplishment? accomplishment is um, that young girl who DMs me and tells me about how much she loves my music awesome. and right. how awesome. much um, mm -hmm. my music 
has has kept her company mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. SS. And also there was this time um, one of my fans, I don't know what, what, what led her to go and post some very bad picture online. And I think she was lashing out because she, I think someone had passed. I think it was during the time Ebony passed or something. And she tagged me in the photo. And I, I entered her DMs and I told her that, babe, this is not the way to express yourself. Right. Like, um, whatever you do, if you want to take nude pictures of yourself, take it. But don't post it on social media. Right. There's no... Um, there's no end to mm -hmm. that. It's mm -hmm. not like you haven't making money of it. If yeah. it was, it was an only fans and you were making money of it, then yeah. that's you. There's some, there's some profits, but right. it wasn't mm -hmm. good. And and she actually listened to me and took she it took it. She took it down. And I've been monitoring her post. She seems more measured now. And those kind of things are yeah. what gives me making like, a difference. Yeah, in people's yeah. Lives. exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. what that's what that. gives me the chills. Yeah. That. Okay. That's how do you really balance? Good. How do you balance your personal life? With the music career i think over the years it's become easier for me mm -hmm. um right now it's, it's more or less intertwined <clears throat> because it's, it's it was difficult for me to separate it right and that was why when i was even transitioning from feli to feli nuna i added nuna <coughs> which is my <coughs> house name that's what people used to call me i mean that's what people call me like at home and for me to even add that name to my stage name hmm. it was breaking that personal barrier as well right yeah because i realized that i just want to be me i don't want to have any conflict right. of personality mm. or whatever i already mm. have three people in my head that i'm dealing with <laughs> right. Davy diva black star barbie and a mm -hmm. uh, fire queen they always always worry my head right. so i don't even want to even come and add any other complications mm. so um i think right now it's easy it's seamless i do whatever i want to do i go to eat wherever I want to eat. I just live my life. You're yes. comfortable. I'm very yeah. comfortable. And yeah. I don't feel like stardom or being a celebrity or whatever. I don't even consider myself a celebrity, but I, I don't I don't feel like it should um like cap anything that you want to do in mm. this life. Just feel free. Mm. And okay. once you are safe, I mean everything You're goes. Yeah, so yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Is that yeah. pressure on you to be um you know maintaining a certain level of activity in the industry so you know to be producing songs at a certain time because fans always have expectations yes. you know yes. it's been such a long time because i i know that you did take a hiatus at I some did. point and um there's always the pressure mm -hmm. from your fans from people from pundits on entertainment shows mm -hmm. when your name comes up and people ask ah, but is she still doing music oh, i hear that all the time you know yeah. so yeah. Has there been that pressure on you to be on the go, um, making sure things happen? I, I just have pressure to make money. That's <laughs> all. I just just to make money right. and live comfortably. Yeah. But um, when it comes to my art and creativity, I feel like sometimes you need to take a breather right. because it takes a lot from you mm. trying to produce. Mm. Um, even when you see a video as Love Me Now, you can imagine the amount of work, the months of planning yeah. that go into it because I'm someone that, like, my art is is very dear to me mm. and I'm, I'm trying as much as possible with the budget I have to produce the amazingness I see in my head. Right. So I need to be meticulous about it. You know, I right. need to take my time right. and make sure that it comes out perfectly right and um and also it costs a lot of money as mm. well so mm. making sure that all those little factors are in place right. is very important so the times i feel like i need to take a break i do right. um but i've always been active some way somehow and um yeah so if you follow me you, you would follow know my journey you would know you would know so the people that actually go like oh is she still are you still making music for mm. in a crowd mm. here? like mm -hmm. i don't mind you anymore yeah. because no that pressure. means that that means that you, you fell off yeah, yeah. no i didn't fall off you <laughs> fell yeah. off my journey and right. that's okay if i don't yeah. work for you i don't do it for you yeah. anymore that's fine but my 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 core fans or the people who support me yeah. know the process and they know the yeah, journey and they right. ac they accept me and they're fine with it yes, they they're fine. To, the they people who matter 
Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> they are the fine with it. Fine so with it. you talked about, um, you know, budget friendly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. doing stuff that are budget friendly mm -hmm. for you because you're not on a label anymore. Mm -hmm. Even though your video set off, off the ground, how, how did that happen? Okay, so the audio was released right before the, um, I think, was it before? I think before the contract ended, just oh, around the right. time the contract oh, ended. Right. And there were talks of um, the video happening right. even before the contract ended. Right. So um, they they had a hand. They paid for some right. part of the video. Okay. So even though I released it months after the contract ended, I I could have just paid them off and then taken their name off. But I just wanted to give them that respect. Yes. And um, I didn't I didn't want any bad blood. I didn't right. want any it's bad negative. So you guys are good. Energy. Yes, yes, yes. We are good. Right. We are we are, we are very right. good. So, so back to the original question. This mm -hmm. just got in yes. in the middle of it. How do you manage finances? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're a young woman. Do you have any children? No, not yet. Not but, yet. But soon. Soon. Coming soon. <laughs> to Coming a cinema soon. near you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, married? No, I'm not married. Okay. So how do you manage finances? Because you have mentioned that um, you've put your team together mm -hmm. and you are sort of managing them. Yes. You know? So... It, it means that every move that is made, especially in, in your game, mm -hmm. it's all about the money. Yeah. How do you handle that? The finances, shooting okay. videos, mm -hmm. going out. And yesterday I said on here that um, music comes with a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You cannot be in that space and avoid the lifestyle. Yes. It, it doesn't yeah, come not, together. Yeah. Yeah. You know, So you need to have that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You need to maintain it. It comes with the look and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. How do you keep it together? So it's the grace of God. Hey, <laughs> this grace puts Thank money you. on the table yes, every morning. I actually, actually, <laughs> God has been really good because right. um, I was really anxious when mm. I was leaving the label. Okay. I didn't have any plan B. Right. I didn't have any yeah. investor or mm. anything during that time. But I just wasn't happy with the yeah. um, the, the work rates. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to renew, even though they offered me a figure, which that figure wasn't enough. I didn't feel like I was going to do um, as much and also felt like if even if if the if the efficiency of work could match like could be good if, if they were going to be efficient with work at least mm. maybe we could have worked with that figure but yeah. the work wasn't good right so even though i was anxious during that period when i was leaving god made a way he did. <laughs> that must have like, been a scary moment for you it was yeah. very scary like guys i even yeah. joke like i even <laughs> like to you i used to yeah. wake up like I was anxious. I was having anxiety. Like right. I used to wake up yeah. with with heart palpitations. Like yeah. when I when like that first break of consciousness, or, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hey, God, okay, bam bam, video is coming. I need to do this. I need to do. This. Then my heart just starts beating even before mm. I even open my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. But like honestly, it's been a breeze. Right. It's been a breeze. Like um, I've gotten. I've played uh, like three gigs. I've gotten good money, right. so I've, I've been able to invest in my media promo. Um, okay. I've had support as well from family. Right. So, yeah, and I don't know, from some funny way, people are just dashing me money. Ace. I think I get why she says grace of God. Like, I, I, yeah, like I it's know. crazy because, yeah. like, and I don't know maybe because of late I'm being more prayerful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there is it's, that. Yeah. There's like, definitely like, that. Like, right, I think, and also, I, 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 I I went to God to for solace right. and for, for as my refuge mm -hmm. to just handle things. Like I yeah. just didn't want to stress. And it's been really good. Like it's been good. I've 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 made more money in these few months mm -hmm. than I did when I was with the label in two years. Wow. Right. So Incredible. like it's yeah. Incredible. It's, God, thank you. <laughs> so so from the accumulation of all these experiences, <laughs> what can you share with us a lesson or piece of wisdom you you've gained throughout your career so far? I think you should just trust your guts. Yeah. Like, just just trust your guts. And one thing I realized is, or with my journey, I'm, I, even though I come, I, I, I've never been alone throughout the process. Most of the time when people go, there's mm. always someone that comes. So yeah. there's, there's, there's mm -hmm. always someone. But I'm the only one in this ship from the beginning mm. i've been the only one from the beginning and i know my vision i know my goal so i also feel like no matter who comes to work with you don't let it derail that 
plan that you have set yeah. for yourself. Okay. I feel like the reason why I've not even released an album or an EP yet is because every time I work with a team, they always they all have their own vision, their own two year right. plan or their own okay. three year plan. They want yes. So because of that, it, it derails it because mm. they never meet up to that plan. Then it's like I have to go back. Right. You know, so so that that goal that you set, you are the one who knows the journey. You know mm -hmm. the experience. You know what you need. You know what you have. So always keep that in mind and trust your guts. Okay. Yes. Are, are there some messages for her? Um, and we, we have to do a calling too. So yes, we're going that. to so open the see. phone lines okay, for so you. Okay. So so let's just um, do another visual. Can we do another visual? Yes, and then we, we can do another that. visual. Okay. okay. So Real let's get into quickly. it quickly. Let's do another yeah. visual. join us in the studios and um, we're going to talk about that visual in a minute but here's um, a message says it sounds like Feli keeps getting ideas from the various management she's worked with about a certain image she should project have you had that because you said you've been with three mm -hmm. different labels and mm -hmm. um, are they usually with y your projection or they give you a whole new one no I feel they don't um, when it comes to my creativity based on my music mm. or my appearance it's mostly influenced by me right even though that they might have like a say or sure. final say in the the music that mm. goes out okay. mm. yes that one is influenced by it's me. all you okay. yeah okay. now let's talk vgmes 24th mm. edition this year mm -hmm. um have you been following you know up on happenings uh, so i started following but when I realized I was not, I didn't have any nomination. <laughs> I muted the account. Hey, no need. You didn't to. want no to. need no to need come to. and stress no, myself. No, but there's been a one week window. Did mm -hmm. you submit mm -hmm. your work? Yes, I actually did for the first time in a while. The, I actually before they did. gave this one week window, you submitted one week window. When, when, for they, no, when they opened for okay. submissions, she, yes. she submitted. Okay, you yes, submitted. I did. But there's been a one week window mm -hmm. that has been opened to correct. Yeah. Um, inconsistencies yeah. um, because a lot of yeah. people have come out to complain. Some people said some people got they don't nominations. Do what they want. You know <laughs> what I mean? They'll end up doing <laughs> what they want in the end. Me, I, I said that right now, the board is like a frat. 
a yeah. fraternity. They are serving themselves. Right. So um, I'm not going to stress. I, I submitted my work. Mm -hmm. I felt like Towel should have been nominated for right. something. For which you know, category were you um, looking at? Uh, best Afro pop song. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, female vocalist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, songwriter of the year. Right. So I, 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 those were the ones that I submitted Towel for because I felt like Towel did make some noise last year even yeah. if bum bum is new and they feel yeah. like it hasn't reached up that standard yet yeah um cool but towel should have and because i was denied that i feel like okay me to also deny you my attention <laughs> i wish them the best yeah. Yeah. they should have a good show right and just I, i'm not ready to that one week window won't do anything for me because it won't do anything. I, I but but going forward would you still do submissions? Oh, I think I will. will yeah, okay. I definitely will because I mean it's part of the entertainment yeah. industry mm. here. So yeah. mm. um, next year, don't worry, I'm coming. Next year, if you don't know, you <laughs> do something. <laughs> but but outside of you know the the categories that you are hoping to get nominations mm. in, have you looked at other categories that have other people in it? Yes. So, um, okay, no, I'm going to ask something. No, no, no. Okay, so I, I just wanted to know which ones got your attention. Yeah. So honestly, um, it's very vague right now. I mean, I, um, I, I just looked through to see whether I felt like the nominations made sense. Mm. Um, I can't pinpoint which category, but I feel like some of the names I've never heard before. Some of the, um, the, the artists, I felt like didn't amass enough numbers or mm. didn't or, or enough uh weight to be put in the certain categories mm. that they were in right and over me <laughs> but, i like the over me yes, reds, right. but, but but um uh, i i just i just scroll through and then just let it go because right. let's talk artists of the year you've seen mm. that category definitely yeah, who and who? who is in it? I can't <laughs> I remember. I think Black Sharif, Camido, okay. Sakodi okay. Akiri, PSCA Esther, King Promise. PSCA Esther, please. All for the women. <laughs> <laughs> she should just take it. She All for the women. That's a good yes. one. That's a good okay. one. Yes, PSCA yeah. Esther should just take okay. it. And um, yeah, what do you think? I mean, I'm on the bandwagon of Black Hole. Okay. You know, I'm definitely in the front seat okay. of that bandwagon. <laughs> so, um, yes, I, of course, because I'm a woman, mm -hmm. I, I also have a, I'm kind of leaning towards mm -hmm. yes, PSC yes. Esther. But, but I'm she's not, been in the game for a oh, while. Oh, yes, she has. Mm -hmm. And I love Amazing her song. Songs, her yes. song, I love the song that is contending, Ye yeah. okay. is, a, is a big song. Yeah. And is a yeah. favorite for a lot of Christians mm -hmm. in the year under review. So, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, yeah. she des it's deserving mm -hmm. you know yeah. but will Bla if blacko should blacko win mm -hmm. oh uh, that'll be that'll be, that'll, that'll be fantastic i think he yeah. no, he will he he um, he does deserve he it yeah because yeah. yeah, he he's done it. a lot of work um over um yes. the last year mm -hmm. and yeah mm -hmm. more Pre grief. personal question have, have you ever felt like giving up on music and what kept you moving i have never felt like giving up there are times where it's been really hard, right. but I, I, well, maybe I I don't know whether I, I would consider that as felt, but I've, the thought has crossed my mind. Right. Like I've thought about it that Charlie, Nuna, what would you do aside music? Like right. what could you do? You feel, you feel like um, things are, are not going the way you mm. want it to go, but what would you do? Then I think about it. I'm like I cannot do anything else. Yeah. I feel like this is my calling, mm -hmm. and um, ever since I've been young, I've had signs, and mm. and my life has just steered me down mm -hmm. this path. Mm -hmm. So I don't see myself doing anything else because right. all the things I love to do, music allows me to do that. I love production. Mm -hmm. um, I love video editing. Right. I love graphic design, and all all these things is. Um, is, is my music career right. so I feel like this is like sort of an umbrella for mm. for me to ex explore mm. okay. my skills so right. I don't think that I can I would ever are you, are you, are you helping that. any up, up coming or up and coming artists do you have any young woman under your wing that you're looking to um yes so I there's this um thing that I do um I think every two years mm. where um, I do a creative workshop okay. um, bring young creatives together and then we create art for change right um, so we create arts based um, on um, discrimination gender right. violence like all these kind of things and it's an European Union okay. um, 
projects initiative that I do okay. initiatives. Okay. So that's that's what I do. So it goes to the database of the European Union. Awesome. It brings the artists together mm -hmm. and then it creates um, platforms for them to move okay. um, ahead in their lives. Um, uh, I also helped, um, I actually it was supposed to be two, but one of the girls couldn't go because of school. She's in SS. Right. Um, I, I helped them get to um, Edinburgh. D during the Edinburgh mm -hmm. um, Jazz and Blues Festival, okay. I had a link to um, support or help uh, a, a creative, right. two creatives from mm -hmm. Ghana right. go. So I gave them that platform, helped them to also go. So um, any way that I can, oh, that's I amazing. always do that. That's yeah. amazing. You, you wanted to talk about the visual with Daddy. You wanted to say, share the story. I mean, oh. Viewers can't miss out on that. So that, <laughs> that. song, so that that song is titled Wanted. Wanted, yeah. okay. Wanted, so yeah. Wanted, about it a bit. Afro House, I'm a piano type vibe. Amazing song. Um, featuring DJ Henry X and um, yeah. So it was this video, <laughs> hey Radi. This video, they had just stolen my phone in Greece and um, I, I missed my flights because Greece, that there was during, it was during those COVID regulations, mm -hmm. like sometimes they'll change mm -hmm. what yeah. you need to yeah. fly, uh -huh, all these things. So I ended up missing, I, I wasn't able to fly um, so I was supposed to come to Ghana one day before and prep and then shoot the next day. But because of that, I wasn't able to leave Greece in time. I ended up having to come straight from the airport to this set. And the day before I, I was um, going to take my flight or whatever, <clears throat> some kids who acted like they come to beg for money. I was at a KFC and then they acted like they come to beg for money, came and swiped my phone. So it was, I spent my last day there trying to find my iPhone mm -hmm. and I had this pressure of, because I needed to communicate with the team here about the video, let them know that I wasn't going to be here, figure out things with my stylist and all that. <coughs> so it was, I was in a good mental space <laughs> during this video, but right. I still had to put on my big girl pants yeah. and come and do my job. I remember I've never blacked out before, like, like, in public like or maybe like slept and you don't know where you are like that kind of thing Did we shot this video on two different locations mm -hmm. i remember after the first location when they were driving me to the next location massa i went off like i didn't <laughs> know where i was like right. I, I i just i, I was really tired yeah. i slept and and i woke up away there so until recently i didn't even know where the second location existed in Accra. I didn't even right. know where it was. Right. It was just recently that I was driving and then I was like, ah, oh, oh, wow. Uh, this is the place that I shot the video. Right. Awesome. So so it was it was it was great. And but it taught me that I, I can push myself yeah, right. and, yes. and I'm stronger than you I think I, think think, I yeah. am. Mm -hmm. So all mm -hmm. this dancing actually I had uh, the what's the name the cramps my, my my feet were cramped but i still had to dance in heels yeah. <sighs> this job it's, it's, it's for the love yeah, honestly the love. Well, since it's that's what love. you've decided to do yes yeah. do it and do it well thank you and, and i have to say you're doing really well yeah. and thank i love you. your growth um thank you. because i remember i think the first time i met you we were on a photo shoot Okay. Um, at the was Accra Mall, Mall? Um, yeah, yeah. Jazzy. Yes, yes, yes. yes that was yes, the yes, first time I yes. saw. And this was in like 2011. Yes, very, 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 very long, very time, long time, time ago. And you know, outside of that, then I saw you. You know, you started rapping, mm -hmm. and then I saw you hang with the boys, mm -hmm. EL, yes, all those yes, people. Yes. And I've seen your growth. You've Thank grown you. so much. Thank you. You know, Thank you. and I know that you are going even further. You know, so I really, really love that Thank you've come you. this far Thank and you're going you so even much. further. I know that some people say a lot of, I, I remember you having to go on a, a television station and having a little bit of a thing with one of the hosts or... I, I don't know what it's that's a, called. The so-called the gatekeepers. <laughs> One, you know, they were trying to and, tell me. And, okay. mm -hmm. and, and, and I saw that even after that, there was a little bit of a back and forth uh, that entire week. And I know that these things, they do something to you. Mm -hmm. So I have to say I admire your strengths. Thank because you. through it all, with all the things coming at you, mm -hmm. you still find a way, mm -hmm. you know, through it. Mm -hmm. And that's very admirable. God has been good. Yeah. Um, honestly, I, I, I owe it all to mm -hmm. God and, and my support base, mm -hmm. honestly. And mm -hmm. yeah, I'm just really looking forward to the future. Right. And what what, what message do you hope your music conveys to listeners? 
Uh-huh. Like every song is different. Mm-hmm. Like Bum Bum is about body positivity, saying that feel free, no matter what size or shape or color your bum comes in, feel mm-hmm. free and just enjoy your confidence and just have fun. Right. You know, um, love me now. As I said, it's love me now, don't love me later. So every song has its message. Right. But um, I, I just want my brand to um, just remind women to just be comfortable confident and feel empowered Mm. and also remind everybody to just have fun because i believe that life is very fleeting yeah and yeah because you are you are here today you never know the next minute so what do you want your next like your last minute to feel like yeah i believe that we should all uh, um strive for that peace and that joy Mm. yeah and love right international collaborations Yeah. yeah i i have some Oh, you do? Yes. Which ones? No, I can't say. So you guys... So, have oh, to it's it's coming or it's already here? Uh, if it's been released already. Yeah. Or, no, 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 no. Okay. No. Oh, so um, you have one. I, I, okay, I have um, a song with Bule from okay. SA. Okay. And um, uh, Victoria Kimani. Right. Yes. Um, that has been released. I think it was released like last year. But okay. it wasn't my project. So was, that was off the record, off of the ground. Um, with off the ground. It was during the time that I was with off the ground. Right. Yes. yes. Okay. You, you, you have a very sorry. You have a very unique style. Who are some of your musical influences? Uh, Lauren Hill, growing up. Okay. Yes, mm-hmm. Lauren Hill, very, very, very amazing mm-hmm. artist. She came to Ghana. I was so star, star struck. So I couldn't. <laughs> no, it was that, but I couldn't even go. Like oh, I couldn't. Yeah. I knew she was going to be at BBNZ. Right. But yeah. I didn't know. I don't know, but I just couldn't right. go. And um, uh, I, I loved Maria Carey as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I um I used to listen to or oh, I listened to J. Cole as well. Awesome. One of my yeah. amazing rappers. And yeah, I'll say like off off the top of my head, those three okay. right. were, were actually like my inspiration. Like I actually like their journey. Okay. Um I love mm-hmm. Missy Elliott as well. Like when it comes to her visuals yeah. and, and the, the the span, like the, the bandwidth. I think I see a bit of a star right now. Oh yeah. Uh, I see a bit of a star right now. It's a it's a fuse yeah. of, of Missy and um Lauren and Lauren and, yeah. and yeah, uh, like, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. it's a all, blend. All of yeah. them, yeah. A beautiful uh, blend. There are people that I have. Okay. Yeah. No, there are have people you? that I love. Yes. Right. Yes. So, um, Adam is your friend. Yes, he is. Okay. I'm thinking of him passing by his place after. Okay. After right. here. So you know he had the social experiment. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't even let me love it. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't even let me get to the end of the movie. <laughs> you, love it. You, yeah. you, you love it because so um he I didn't know anything about it. Right. Um I saw it and I've been off the grid for a very long time, maybe right. all during this whole time because I I like to contain my piece. Right. So this um it was my boyfriend that showed it to me. Okay. And then he he said that he 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 hopes that he's it's like a uh, PR stance right. to release music right. and that if he's doing that that would be so genius mm-hmm. so we were actually following it to see whether he was actually going to stand and I also didn't want to call him Adam right. and ask what so this is about surprise, I, I, yes right? I wanted yeah. to yeah I wanted to have that that fun experience yes yeah, yeah. yeah, so so I was just waiting and following it and then the next day right. he posted um, the, the opposing right. party and it was so brilliant like I saw it I loved so much mm. and and then I saw the 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 final um, artwork yeah. with the two yeah. NDC and NPP, yeah. and he, he said social experiment. I thought that was it was inspiring because yeah. right. he yeah. thought out of the box mm-hmm. and 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 those kind of people or those kind of artists mm. inspire me as yeah. well. Yeah. Right. yeah. But what would you think if it was not a social experiment and it's something that he actually wanted to go for? He's very capable. And Absolutely. I will, yes, he's very very capable, <laughs> and I would support him a hundred and ten percent. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. Campaign manager. Number Number one, one. (laughs) you know how I said that music comes with a lifestyle and Mm -hmm. you cannot be in the music and not have the lifestyle. I feel like Adam is one of the few people, and I said this here, I think this week, this should be my third or fourth time. Of fifth time. Of fifth time (laughs) saying that he's one of the few people who's in the music but not with the lifestyle. He's Mm -hmm. so grounded and level-headed and focused. You know, when you think about Adam, 
the first thing that comes to your mind at Charles Goyang Sikovi is not gimmicks or is not anything. He's one of the few people who <laughs> I put the song down, let the song do its work, yeah. love the song for what it is. Mm -hmm. I have no time yeah. for any PR stunts yeah. or none yeah. of that. You know what he I mean? He has his own persona. He yeah. has his own yeah. persona. Yeah. And he's very um, opinionated, yeah, very mm -hmm. true. you know, and very he true. understands where he's coming from and knows where he's going. So I actually am pushing mm -hmm. that he actually goes for it. Okay. Like, let this not be a social experiment. Yeah. Come again. It needs you know, to because happen. He, yeah. yeah. We need, uh, <laughs> yes, we need these kind of people mm -hmm. to represent creative <laughs> arts yeah. in parliament. Yeah. Yes. True. We true. definitely. True. Do True. the kind of mind he has will do great for the creative arts. I think so. So True. I'm saying, look, forget the social experiment. We actually need you to go for yeah, it because yeah, he's yeah. just one yeah. of the few. Yeah. Anybody else, I would have questions. You know, I can't think of any artist, mm -hmm. whether of his of his his his, his caliber, his caliber mm -hmm. or his 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 group of people okay. at the time yeah. or younger mm -hmm. who would have given me the same confidence. Okay. I really can't okay. think of anyone. Okay. Very few people you can really put your hands on. Yeah. In fact, mm -hmm. I can't think of anybody. Anyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love all the other people for all the other reasons, mm -hmm. but he's the only one who gives me this kind of confidence. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. I see what yeah. you mean. He's very grounded, yes. family yeah. man. Yes. And as yeah. you said, no gimmicks. No, no. gimmicks. Yes. <laughs> and, and I like, I've always loved how much he's always pushed my Voltarians. Like, he's mm -hmm. always yeah. trying to just yeah. advocate and yeah. just push the youth yeah and 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 it's so unpopular in yeah our, our yeah and industry. he's a leader he's such a leader yeah, yes. he, he has yes. traits really of a leader, leader yeah. you know yes, yes. yeah so yeah. Uh, i'm i'm i side with you yeah Maybe today when i go i'll go and tell him that game. i said uh, okay natalia okay. said i haven't seen him in a minute okay tell him that i said forget the social experiment okay we should actually go for this okay i'll be on his team okay that's on great. the campaign and okay. it doesn't matter which side he's on Yesterday, Digo mentioned that he's, um, he's uh, I think he used a, a word or, or two words together that I'm forgetting. But he said, you know, this is like a new school type of thing where you don't need to necessarily be from a place mm -hmm. to contest mm -hmm. yeah. or belong to a party mm -hmm. to contest. Mm -hmm. It's about time we started thinking yes. as a people, people. Yes. you yes. know. Yes. And this is something that the creative arts could back, no mm -hmm. matter which side mm -hmm. he fell on, mm -hmm. because we need that representation. Mm -hmm. This is not a time True. for green or blue. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is just a time for representation. Station. And we say this is the person who can best represent us. Mm -hmm. So whichever color he falls on shouldn't be yeah. part of it the conversation. Be a problem. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. and I think that's something that yeah. we should start yeah. advocating for. Mm -hmm. Most go definitely. Ahead. <laughs> Most definitely. We, I mean, we have a couple of minutes to go. Can we do some okay. callers? I don't yes, know. please. Um, two, if you'd like to call, two, two, callers. two phone calls. If you'd like yeah, to call and say calls. hi to fellow Nuna, if you have any questions, um, it's 0503 That's 0503 Zero one. So about the boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Let's get more personal. Let's get more personal. Let's get more personal. I mean, I'm oh, call call yeah. You guys, you call. <laughs> well, Until you the call know? comes mm -hmm. in, about the boyfriend. How long have you guys been? I can't say. Hey. Well, but we've been together a while. For a, a while. while. Yes, a while. Yes. You love him? I do. Okay. So you see it going all the way? I do. I'm, I'm not the type of girl to... Um, Buddha's flings, right? Oh. Once I'm dating somebody, it's serious, right? Yeah, until it falls off, right? Yes, I, I am. I'm a very serious one man type, right? Yeah. Okay. And and um, what what made you choose him? Because I don't want to believe that he was. He must have been the only person at that door <laughs> there at the time. Options, I think right? there must have been options. <laughs> he was so charming. Like okay. honestly, I don't think I've ever had butterflies in my tummy wow. the way this guy made me feel. Okay. Like um, we met at a wedding. Funny enough. And he, he, like, you know, like, he, the word gawking, like, when yeah. the person is looking yeah. at you, yeah. he was looking at me for, for me to know that he yeah. looking he was looking at me. Yes, yes, he was gawking. Yes, he was gawking. Like, and, and he's just so creepy. Oh, God, this guy. <laughs> like, it was a glass window uh -huh. and a glass door. Right. And he would show, like, he walked past the glass door. And when, he, when he's asked, like, I can see him through the glass, he'd be looking at me, and then he'd disappear. Then he'll come again. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted me to see that he was looking at me, and he came, he spoke to me. 
me and then we became i think we started dating in like a week yes wow. and then after a week of talking we started dating and right. we've been together okay since, and, and yes. i suppose um this uh, obviously this will go without saying he supports what you do yes he does okay he's, he's hands-on he's hands-on right um and uh he's 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 great he's, he's great, great. He's great. Right. what's what's the hardest part of being felinuna <laughs> i don't even know the hardest part of being me huh i think Today was quite hard for me when it was raining and okay. I, I had to wake up and show up okay. here right. this morning. Good. I actually made a snap. I was like, morning show host, you guys are heroes. <laughs> like, seriously, yeah. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> like, everybody in this room, you guys are heroes. Showing up every morning yeah. to, to entertain and inform you know, us. Oh, my know. God, you guys do so well. Yeah. So, I mean, for me, that was a hard part. That was a challenge mm. I had this morning. Okay. I had to right. wake up. And still come and show up, yeah, yeah, yeah. and do and get it done. So, so yeah. Keep, yeah, keeping up with the work ethic, right? Yes, yeah. keeping yeah. up yeah, with the, the work ethic. Forth. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. back and forth. Yeah. 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 I, I, what I is love... the hardest part about being a nig? Everything. What is that hard? Is everything a nig? You know, is it like <laughs> is everything yeah, having to like, do production late yeah, into the night? Having to do production, you know, just have, like on a your... daily basis, yeah. I'm thinking about ideas. What can right. I? What can I? How can I entertain these viewers? How do right. I get them talking? Yeah, how do I right. get them involved? Like, every day you're cooking up ideas. Right. But that's but fun, I mean it's though. fun. It's, it's not, fun yeah. too. Um, as much as it is a bit cumbersome, it is yeah. fun too. I'm just noticing your cap actually. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. My, yeah, yeah. yeah it's really cool. Yeah. So you, you should take it away. I will. I'll you should take it, it away. It's a souvenir for me. That, that, yeah. the calls, because the calls are not coming in. Yeah. The hardest part about being me mm -hmm. is that people think that I speak well. So they think I know everything or I know all the words. Okay, ah. yeah. People tend to think that. Yeah, <laughs> people tend to think that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have people who just randomly come to you and say, ah, what does this mean? I think, <laughs> I, 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 think I deal with that too, yeah. <laughs> okay. And, yeah. and I feel like, but why do you suppose think I know, I know it all. this? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's been a really hard thing and for I me. I think it's a compliment. Yeah. yeah. It's really great. Yeah. Because yeah. in all the places that I've worked, whenever mm -hmm. there's an argument about mm -hmm. a certain word, mm -hmm. how it's pronounced, yeah. how it's mm -hmm. whatever, yeah. Everybody just comes to me and says, yeah. Natalia, so what do you think? And they yeah. ask it as though whatever I say is fine. Yes. <laughs> you yes. know? Yeah, you should have a and, definite answer and for them. At the time, I don't even no. know what they are talking <laughs> about. And it's so difficult. It's yeah. such yeah. a difficult place to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I think I took my thing out of my ear. So okay. I'm not able to do the communication. Yeah. I'm sure we've had yeah, calls, we should, but yeah. because of oh. me not getting mm -hmm. yeah the that feedback okay exactly okay. the communication mm -hmm. um i think we're just going to have to wrap, wrap up here up, yeah. you are amazing thank you so and much. and i love the i love the you know the, the part of your growth mm -hmm. and i and i love the fact that you came for me please show mm -hmm. up for me every day don't be like a nig yes <laughs> don't be like a nig <laughs> who doesn't show up for me even when i need them yes. to and um, you're amazing you're beautiful thank we wish you, you the very too. best you know, with your love life, your career. Thank you. And we want some babies soon. Yes, babies are coming soon. To a cinema near us, to or for real? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, for real, for real. Okay. After, after I release my yeah. EP, I think I've always wanted to, I, I, I held that off because I wanted to release a project. Yeah, you should. Right. Yes, you before about releasing. Because I knew mm -hmm. that, because I, I know that once I have a kid, it would be a lot of, um, time and energy that yeah, yeah. responsibility so um well, once i get that out of the way i'll start preparing my body and my mind for, for that baby yes awesome. okay so you awesome. had it here first she says she wants to release the project mm -hmm. before she releases the baby yes <laughs> <laughs> so but we we definitely are looking forward to the babies thank you mm -hmm. so much and um, for staying with us uh, from 7 a.m all the way till now thank you and nig for joining me mm -hmm. always um, on, always a on pleasure to be here um really really appreciate um you know your presence anytime you come on the show it makes me feel a certain type of way you should come more For often real? yeah i'll come more often you should <laughs> i'll come more often i know you don't believe me do you? <laughs> <laughs> the way you made your face is like, what is she on about? Um, so thank you so, so much. Remember that showbiztv.com um, is the place to go. Uh, we're streaming live on showbiztv.com. Also this weekend, Kaswa to the whole Yase. It's happening inside Kaswa. And um, Tahir says, for those of you who have always maintained that Kaswa is such a dangerous place to be and, and your phone is going to be disappearing and stuff like that, look, this weekend, <laughs> take a trip.
to Kaswa and um, enjoy the food, enjoy the people, enjoy the music. It's a festival. And so, so many things are going to happen this weekend. And um, just go and check it out. I will be there holding on for dear life to <laughs> Tahir. I'm, told, I'm, I'm settled in the experience. I'll be holding on to him for dear life. But um, I think you should go and check it out as well. We'll come again. So help us God on Monday between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. Shouts going out to my entire team. Um, shouts going out to Nusinho for my beautiful braided wig. Uh, handmade. Very, very, very pretty. Um, she's on Instagram at... Um, Nusignor underscore braids, okay. Nusignor underscore braids. Also, shouts going out to um, Glam by Asse for my beautiful makeup. I really appreciate. It. And if you saw my jersey today, it's it's because of the Black Stars win yesterday, which we absolutely loved. We know that the spirit of Christian Achu was right there at the stadium, and we made it happen. And it was so nice and so fun. I thought, look. This is the only look I want to have this morning, and uh, that's why I'm looking this way. Shouts going out to the team, to Nicholas, to Skyface Demigod, to Tahira Bekusego, um, to um, Fred Alija, who uh, condolences to him. He has a funeral this weekend, uh, so um, we, we, we are commiserating with you and your family. And shouts going out to Captain Hooks, to Champagne, um, to Ahmed Colony and uh, the entire team. It's all love. This week has been amazing and we're looking forward to a much better week next week. So enjoy your weekend and um, Sky, find a girl and take her out this weekend. Stop being so t uptight. <laughs> My name is Natalia. I'm on Instagram at yes, I am Natalia. Enjoy the, the, the rest of your week or your weekend more like. Early in the morning.